Hi Gemini, welcome back to my channel. You're with Amira Salon from amirasalon.com. This is a multi-language channel. I hope you're enjoying all the different readers with all the different languages that are available to you and to your friends. This is your general reading for the whole of 2018. I'm mixing it up this year. I'm using a few different spreads and five different decks of cards. I'm starting off with the astrological wheel spread which will be uh, used for month to month uh, indications using the tarot, using the uh, Albano weight tarot deck. So let's have a look at the first spread. I do advise you to look at your sun, moon and rising sign, Gemini. Okay, so the first position for January is the magician. So it looks like January, you're taking, things are taking off for you in a very good way. You're standing on your own two feet. You're showing off your talents. You might be starting something new. Some of you might be starting a new business, a new job, a new project of some description. You feel like you're coming up in your craft. The magician is definitely somebody who does a craft, is good at their craft and they're winning something or they're on fire in their own uh, industry or work or creativity or just feeling like you really empower Gemini. This to me gives you a lot of empowerment, the magician. It gives you a lot of direction. And it can also be, some of you might be standing alone and working for yourself or by yourself in some capacity in January and to start the whole year off. February, got another major arcana. I do the, read the cards upright as my guides prefer me to do that and I'll channel through the cards when necessary if there's anything else there to pick up on. So second month of the year, February strength. So really, it looks to me like 2018 is starting off with a bang for you. You have, you're taming the lion here <laughs> and you've, you've got a lot of strength. You've got a lot of energy. I feel energetically, you're gonna be really aligned. So the alignment here with the magician, then the strength card, I feel like you're gonna start off with alignment of energy, strength, also physical stamina and physical strength as well. Somehow through this card, I'm picking up that you feel good. You feel like you're good inside your body. You feel like you feel energetic, like you could do five different things at once. So that's a nice one for you, Gemini. Next month we have is March, the Page of Swords. This could be symbolizing you. You're looking for new projects, ideas, things, pointing your sword in a new direction. It can be and somebody who's who's an air sign, somebody coming into your life, or it could be you. It doesn't matter if it's male or female. So the Page of Swords often tells me that sometimes you might get distracted and you might feel like you're not sure you're going in the right direction, but the, the direction of the year started off really well. So what's, what's happening now in March? So you could be being the fickle Gemini and getting bored with something and wanting to go off in some other direction somewhere over the hills far away. The grass is not always greener on the other side, but it can be at some at times as well. So this is pointing your sword or trying to point your sword in a new direction in some capacity. Next month we have is April. So you've got the Empress. This could be a mother, mother figure, somebody who could be pregnant. Could be you if you have the mothering, nurturing energy about you, if you have some sort of cancerian energy in your chart or something of that nature some of you might be just feeling like you've accomplished something here gemini so there's accomplishment here from the get-go for you starting with january moving into february you know march is looking like you know are we going in the right direction or aren't we we're not really sure 100 percent. but then by april you're sort of back on track you're planted very much where you're meant to be you feel like you're growing, like things are growing around you. You feel like you have abundance, you have success. Then, then we've got May. So May is very nice for homes, homes, family, uh, relationship, feeling very good in a relationship. You could be uh, binding a relationship at that, at that point in time. You might be getting married, some of you. You might be moving into a new home. So May is looking very, very good for new homes, happy family homes, celebration of some description. And then we've got June. 
Okay, so June, you're going to have a lot more ideas, new ideas coming in for you, Gemini. So June, June is often, you know, it is your birthday month and often we have new starts, new beginnings and a new sort of verve of energy and enthusiasm around our birthdays because it is naturally our new year for the whole year. So that's when your birthday cycle starts. So this is about victory as well. So if you are looking at winning something, whether it's winning a competition, winning a court case, winning a battle, but I feel like it's more like victory in the sense of getting a crown. And I feel like you get a crown quite easily here, Gemini. So you might be given some sort of an award. You might win a great client. You might win a great house. You might be bidding for a house in an auction or something like that. And you could be winning a great house. You could have victory around work, around a relationship as well. So there's victory there for you for June. So that's fantastic. This is one of the best spreads yet. And then we've got July. Okay, three of swords. So something might feel like there's been delays or has been delayed. That's what I often get for the three of swords. A lot of people interpret it as in heartbreak, tears, loss, uh, some sort of thing going on with love or with disappointment or feeling upset about something and that could be something that does happen I don't feel it's long lasting though you you know life is life and we go through life and we just see what we need to do with our lives as we you know we take it as as it comes there could be some sort of a loss around you you might lose a pet a relative you know but I don't feel it's something that you don't see coming I feel it's something that you you kind of feel like the clouds are full of rain and the rain is going to come. It's just not if, but when. So it could be actually in July that something of that nature does happen. Okay, so then we've got August. So feeling emotionally bound. So there's something emotional happening around July and August. So we've got feeling emotionally bound, not seeing clearly. You might be recovering from something. You might be confused about some sort of direction. The first six months of the year are fantastic, though. You're really getting a lot done things are really on track. So maybe it's about balancing your life in the sense of maybe it's your emotional life that suffered from all the other amazing stuff that you've been doing on the outside. You need to have a look inside and see what's going on emotionally. Then we've got September celebration. Okay, so you might be getting a celebration of some description through a marriage, enjoying yourself with friends, parties, outings, energy, celebration, going out more with your friends, with your girlfriends. I do feel that there could be wedding here. So if there's something here with a wedding plan that doesn't come through because there's some sort of a delay, it might not have anything to do with you. It could be to do with your partner. Okay, so if there's a relationship delay here, it could be something around your partner and it's not, not directed at you. I feel it's more to do with their loss, grief, family or something like that. There could be a celebration postponed until September. Okay, now we look at October. October, we've got the Five of Swords. So you're definitely trying to make something happen. You're walking away from a situation that might not be, might no longer be serving you in the right capacity, but you're taking with you something valuable. So sometimes I'd once again, Gemini, I don't feel it's about the loss of a partner or anything like that. I feel it's more like friends, associates, situations around you that you might have to remove yourself from. It could be just unhealthy people, unhealthy characters, or people who are just taking too much of your time and energy. They could be draining you. So I do feel it's nothing to do with your inner circle. I feel it's more your outer circle. So that's October. So it's cutting away the dead wood is what comes up with that. Then we've got the wish card. So once again, we're back on top of things. November, the wish card, getting your wishes granted. You've been manifesting and putting out into the universe everything that you've wanted and wished for and desired and worked for as well, Gemini. You're sitting pretty. You're sitting happy. You're sitting somewhere that you really want to be, okay? You're in the right place. So you're somewhere where you want to be, Gemini. You're in a place where you are, you know, enjoying yourself. And you're counting your blessings. November, counting your blessings. December, okay, pay out. We've got a big lump sum of money coming in December. 
So whatever it is you've been doing here, you could even have a delay here around the sale of a property. Okay, the property might go on the market, there could be an offer and for some reason that might be delayed or, or doesn't go through and then suddenly it picks up again and comes through. Okay, so a payout, promotion, lump sum of money, inheritance, um, receiving something valuable, but definitely money. So definitely a great client, a big bonus, could be an end of year bonus as well, or just receiving a lump sum of money through something that you've been working on all year. And I do feel you're going to have a very successful year, Gemini. So don't give up. Don't give up hope. Don't give up strength. Don't give up focus because you have to focus and don't give up manifesting i mean the two manifestation cards i see here is the empress and the nine of cups so don't give up manifesting okay keep strong move forward charge forward it's almost like yes you do have to take the bull by the horns or the lion by its mane but you will come out trumps you've got very very good victories around you Gemini for 2018 generally you know if you need to book a personal reading with me you're always welcome to book one through my website or one of my international psychic team members to have a reading that pertains specifically to you and what's going on in your life so the links are always below so you can check out the links and also check out my Facebook page as I often have special offers there my cards are on sale two for one or reduced and uh, some of the readers on the channel, on my international um, psychic team, do have specials that they put up or they have very affordable prices for readings. If you can't afford a reading with me, I'd highly recommend that you get one with the, with the team. So that's what we're here for, to help you in your life journey and to guide you in the right direction. So here we go for your Love Oracle reading using my own cards, Amira's Love Oracle cards, which are available on my website for purchase. And to click a daily card, there's an app on my website. You can tick click a daily card as well. Okay, so Gemini Love. I'm going to do a seven card story with this one. And we're going to see what's coming up for Gemini's Love. I really liked that tarot spread though, that was perfect. Do I want to stop now? Gemini. Yes, okay. Destiny, money, beautiful, there we go, once again. Union, could be a contract as well. Spiritual growth, sorry, my tripod keeps moving. Freedom, gossip, and past life, okay. So the past life card is interesting because it could be that you're hearing from somebody from the past, past life situation, past life love, past life, you know, energy in general around you. Excuse me, I'm just going to move this light slightly upwards. There we go. Okay. So past life interest, somebody coming back from a past life into your life in this life, feeling like there's a deja vu. You might want to do my audio download, which is only $7.77 on my website, to discover your past lives in regression. So you've got destiny, things taking its course, money lining up for you, contracts lining up for you, or marrying somebody wealthy, or together you're going to meet somebody with a relationship that is going to help you prosper in your life, okay? So abundance together manifesting an abundance together or just living a very comfortable life together so that's it that's a gorgeous one Gemini spiritual growth and sometimes if the, the video does get published earlier than the start of the year it can start manifesting before then as well spiritual growth so you're really aligning yourself with spirit Gemini I feel like you're very very in tune tuned in tapped in and turned on you're feeling very free you might actually find that if you are single, Gemini, you might actually find that this, this year you're feeling free in the sense of really expanding your arms to the universe and just saying, okay, universe, bring me the best possible person in and for the best possible relationship and you find that they just come back in. The gossip card is about hearing something through the grapevine. It's also can also signify neighbours. So you might even meet somebody through a neighbour somebody who lives next door or even next to you in your work area 
but more likely neighbors gossip hearing about someone through the grapevine it could be somebody's son or, or nephew or cousin or brother that you hear about and when you do meet this person it's like you you've known this person before there's a sense of eye contact you feel like you've known them before you feel like you've been there and said the similar things that have happened you feel like there's a deja vu situation and that can also be relating to travel going somewhere that you feel that you've been before even even to a location that might even be in your city that you feel like oh my god I, th I feel like I've been here before so very good news for love destined meeting so something orchestrated by destiny things written in the stars as if by chance lining themselves up very naturally for you Gemini you don't have to go and look too hard the the, the right person will come in very naturally they are going to offer you a, a serious relationship it could be a marriage proposal just a solid relationship a serious relationship you could already be in a relationship and this all kind of makes sense to you that things are really good around the relationship regarding money this year and everything's going to be flowing and giving you a sense of freedom so often when you're the most free the best things happen when you feel the most free so it could be even financially free debt free you know free as in not having any burdens in your life could be that your children have left home and you feel free or it could be that you're just single and you feel free and then the best things come in when you're feeling the most free and the less frustrated about not having what you don't have and enjoying what you do have and that's your freedom so Gemini I feel like interesting year interesting year ahead definitely for you so let's see what else we've got here what have we got next okay I've got a wellness card this is by the bark flower essence cards okay bark flower essence cards i've got a wellness and well-being card so let's have a look wellness and well-being card for gemini for the year what the bark flowers have to tell us or have a message for you okay i'm not going to look at the cards because it can distract me from picking one okay gemini sun moon and rising wellness what do we need to know from the bark flowers okay this one feels good nice okay cent centauri or cent centauri i think it's pronounced centauri centurium umbellatum i know my limits i'm centered in my ability to know when to help and when to say no I nurture my inner strength and voice okay so this is about balance Gemini this is tying up the message we had in the or in the tarot about balance so this is about pulling back when you need to from friends and associates and people who want too much from you learn to say no don't be a people pleaser and learn to, learn to know when you can help when you've got the energy to help because you're going to have a lot of energy this year it's a beautiful pink flower with a yellow center it's absolutely beautiful and this is about boundaries and knowing your limits and limitations and trusting your inner guidance and inner voice so this is really tapping into yourself so if you go through a period in the year where you have to pull back you have to decide well, do I want to go forward there or not then you know you know what you're going to have to do you just have to tap in with that spiritual growth that you've been experiencing tap in and you'll find the answer so that's a nice one okay the next card i have for you is the spirit cats message from the cats the spirit cats by Nic nicole pr so let's have a look at the cats see what the cats have, what cat comes up for you gemini for 2018 let's have a look for gemini i'm not going to look at the cards just because the colors of there's one that popped out oh, there's actually two I oh, know there's three that's a bit too many okay we're going to put those back in but we're going to remember the face just in case one other one comes out okay Gemini sun moon and rising Gemini Gemini okay that one wants to come out 
trust. There we go. This is Safi, Safi or Safi. And it's a beautiful green card with lots of green trees. Absolutely beautiful. Very sweet looking cat. Safi. This is Safi. Trust begins as an agreement she makes with the flame in her heart. She agrees to let it guide her even if it beckons her deep into the night forest of the unknown. When she trusts, the darkness is illuminated and the forest sparkles with her heart light. She may not know exactly where the path leads, but she trusts the enchantment of a journey born of intuition. When you truly seek, what you truly seek awaits you. Trust yourself. Step into the forest and begin your wild quest towards the longings of your soul. I'm just going to repeat that. What you truly seek awaits you. Trust yourself. Step into the forest and begin your wild quest towards the longings of your soul. So that's a beautiful one, Gemini. This is once again about trusting your intuition, trusting that you are on the right path. And then there's no wrong path, actually. Everybody's on the right path. Your soul delivers the path for you and you choose what direction to go in. Sometimes there's a, there's a fork in the road and we have to take one way or the other way. But just trust that guidance, trust your intuition. Green is also very healing, healing energy. I'm fit sensing through this card. Inner voice, inner knowing and just knowing that you're on the right track and doing the right thing for yourself this year and following the guideposts along the way. So I feel like overall, Gemini, it's going to be a pretty easy year for you. I'm just feeling it's going to be pretty cruisy and fairly easy. And But you, you do have to follow your intuition. Don't ignore it. Then we've got to finish off the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. And this is a beautiful Oracle deck for the Goddess cards. So let's see what goddess comes up for you and what she has to say in a message for you. Gemini's sun, moon, rising for this year. Coming up 2018. <laughs> There's a few flipped over there. Too many to deal with. Okay. Gemini. 2018. That one I feel wants to come out. Okay, very nice. All right. Healing, holding, holy. Pachamama. Pachamama has come out today for you. Gemini, she's looking very, very interesting and very intense. Very intense indeed. Okay. To the pre-Incan peoples of Peru and Bolivia, Pachamama or Mama Pacha is the earth worshipped is the earth worshipped in her many forms the tilled fields the mountains seen as breasts the flowing rivers of as her milk to ensure good harvest cornmeal is sprinkled at planting and rituals celebrating her are performed when the people fail to honor her this dragon goddess sends earthquakes as a reminder well that makes sense doesn't it that's the intensity there that's coming through. Pachamama waits for you with open arms. It is time to open to Pachamama's embrace. Now is the time to heal, whole, and remember your holiness. Remember yourself as a sacred being. Do you feel a connection with the Earth Mother as a living entity, or do you consider the Earth an inert rock behind your feet, beneath your feet? Are you in the middle of emotional pain that nothing seems to ease? Do you eat food and drink without giving thanks to the earth? Are you looking for answers to questions? Do you spend time in nature, opening to the earth and her vital energies? Opening to Pachamama can occur any place. You can commune with her in a city park, your own backyard, some remote forest, jungle or desert. The forest has come up again like the cat. Pachamama says that well-being, holding, is nurtured when you open to her, okay? So this year is a year where you feel, you know, if you are feeling out of balance in any, 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 any capacity, this is a time to really center yourself and get in touch with nature. And that's going to bring you back into alignment. It's going to help you with your, you know, your direction, your intuition, trusting your inner voice. 
It's going to relax you. It's going to make you feel whole. And it's going to point you in the right direction. It's like a wise woman here. She's a very wise woman. She is earth, she is healing, and she is whole. So it's tapping into earth energy, tapping into nature energy, and tapping into you know, the, the, the diversity of how you're managing yourself in this lifetime, you know, how you're managing yourself in this lifetime. Are you connected with Earth, Gemini? Because sometimes you're flying around. So sometimes you need to bring yourself down to Earth and really hold yourself there and ground yourself. There's also symbolism here around mountains because she's got in the background, it could be the Andes, it could be, you know, the Himalayas, something to do with mountains coming up for you. So there could be some retreat. I feel with these cards that you've, you've had this for this spread for your um, 2018 reading, I do feel that if you do get an opportunity to go into a retreat this year, I feel like you might choose to do that. And it could be you know, a silent meditation retreat. It could be a retreat in nature, a yoga retreat, or some sort of healing retreat or a goddess retreat anything that you feel drawn to i would say definitely go ahead and do it you might even want to host your own retreat as well for women or for men or for mixed groups or whoever you'd like to do the retreat for or with you might even organize your own retreat so lots of love and blessings everybody thank you so much for watching and Thank you also for liking, subscribing and sharing my videos and by subscribing you will be automatically notified of when I do post new videos for you or one of my international psychic team members does as well. So thank you so much. All the very best. Ciao for now. Take care.